Many things that are part of our lives today can be traced back to the Vikings. Some of their significant contributions are skis, hair combs, and longships. Although these significant contributions had a lasting impact on civilization and, ref and reflect positively on the Vikings, they were, in fact, bloodthirsty barbarians. Although many of their genius creations, like the longship, help them, they are primarily used to torture their rivalries. Many successes that the Vikings had were a result of violent actions. Although there are many important contributions that we still benefit from today, their overall impact on society is damaging to the civilizations that they encountered in the 8th, 9th, and 10th centuries. The Vikings didn't destroy Western civilizations. Instead, they enriched it by establishing extensive trading centers throughout the known world, which were even better than the ones the Romans had made. They also had an extreme influence on the economic development of Europe and Scandinavia, which was their homeland. The Vikings also settled in Iceland, Greenland, and Vinland, as well as Normandy, as well as Normandy. The Vikings were good people, even though they sometimes attacked recently, but for a good cause. The Vikings helped Europe grow to be what it is today and helped spread it through throughout the entire world. Please note, the Vikings had the Vikings do not deserve the name that we have given them. Viking means to pirate, and the Vikings shouldn't be remembered as that. So from now on, we're going to call them the Norm Norsemen. In, the, in their society, Norsemen were completely ethical. In fact, uh, they didn't just steal. They had to earn their loot. That's why they killed. And, and they were also pagans and were polytheistic. And they didn't care if they were Christian because... If you're a Christian, you can't kill another Christian, but that didn't matter for them. Um, and it was survival of the fittest because they were very poor and hungry, and they made this great invention of a longship called a longship, and they used it for good tactical raids, and they used it for good trading routes. The longship itself was made for violence and killing. We would have had that anyway. They didn't make these stories after they converted to Christianity and weren't fighting as much. It's not likely that they were writing stories in the middle of the battle. They basically made most of these during their decline. Um, one, one thing that we do not take into consideration is that mainly people use um, the monks' writings to base their opinion. I know it actually does take into consideration the sagas that the Norse wrote, even though part of them were completely uh, correct. And it wasn't until the 1890s that scholars outside Scandinavia actually began to consider the achievements that they did. And it, as George said, it was a survival of the fittest. And if people were going to, and if people were fighting, again, the Vikings, um, that is what the consequence of war is. Uh, discovered many new lands, but on their journey they killed lots of people. And while they were sailing, they found lots of uh, they found many monasteries and killed most of the monks. Uh, they also took the monks and used them as slaves, and they were not fair to women. To many at the time, church people in particular, attacking a monastery or church would have seemed irrational. Those who did document the raids, which were usually monks, were better off saying that the Norsemen violence against religious figures was horrible and they often referred to words about the devastation and destruction without any specific detail of what actually the Norsemen did. Do you have any documentation of like any letters that the Vikings wrote? Would you consider the Nazis good because they invented lethal gases to kill the Jews and they're like pretty much the same people? And uh, they invented amazing, some amazing, but used like amazing things, but they used to, they used them to kill people. Okay, I'll take that. Um, so the Vikings, they would raid for a reason, be, and they're like, like a good reason because their reason was that they're population, uh, their, well, not their population, um, their civilization, uh, it was in a bad period because the growing season was um, shortening while the population was expanding, 
and that therefore they didn't have enough farmland or food or tools and so they needed to expand to other places and one thing that they found is that the monasteries had lots of things that they needed and so they took those things and found better farmland and created them and yeah it's what anyone else would do if we were like short on land because we would just go out and look for more that's what that's normal well, Ivor the Boneless crucified a priest just because he was a Christian. Oh. Uh, the Norse first settled Iceland in 870 AD. Eric the Red discovered Greenland in 982 AD. In fact, Leif Erikson found Finland after traveling from Greenland, and Greenland was the first place where Christianity was practiced among the Norse. Also, this shows that they were great explorers, navigational tech, um, trading was really good for them. And also, another reason why they traveled to Greenland and Iceland is because that, um, as, as I said, they were searching for better farmlands, and they wanted to advertise Greenland so that they, uh, the Vikings... And at the Norse, they could spread out over more period, uh, like over more places, and that way their trading systems could advance. If they like, if they found all these places, they they still kept like, like they tried to take over England, but they still had all these other places that they found that they didn't like, they didn't stay there. The reason they didn't stay in Green, Greenland is because at Greenland they were advertising it as green because they wanted people to go there. But it wasn't really green at all. Mm-hmm. It wasn't a place where they could stay. That's what they had to leave. And they looked for more land. And places to go. Um, it doesn't really matter what like they found or invented because many other people like did those great things along their like, when they were doing it. Yeah, and those people are good too. But they didn't kill any people, and like the Vikings were, yeah. the Vikings did invent these things, but they also killed a lot of people while they were doing it. Most well, of the time when they went on raids, they only went there for the gold and treasure. They didn't actually want to stay there sometimes. They would have, they had to earn their treasure, and then um, they were not addicted to violence, and they didn't take everything they stole. They would trade it, and, and um, they, and most of the things that they traded were silver, jewelry, and artifacts. That help us understand them today. They kept like they kept they attacked like a lot of monasteries and they were really greedy and they didn't have to keep going. Like they had enough resources to survive by the end and they started trading and like they just they were really greedy and they just kept attacking more monasteries and they didn't treat like they took slaves and how did you know they were um, really greedy? So and also this is like the Vikings they could be compared with um, the Romans because the Romans they were uh, fighting other, like, well, they were expanding and also fighting other civilizations, small civilizations and towns that could have gotten in their way, and that's exactly what the Vikings were doing. Mm-hmm. And also, with the Vikings, how could they have, how could they have gotten these resources um, from the monasteries without having, having, being fought against? Well, they didn't have to take these resources from the monasteries. They could have, like, traded or found different places and they didn't have to like attack all the monasteries. They attacked the monasteries because then they when they got the the silver and the artifacts, they traded those that silver and artifacts for farmland and sheep and her and like animals so they could feed themselves. It wasn't really worth killing the people that you could have they could have done it like another way instead of just trying to like kill the Vikings might have discovered many new lands and invented many things that we had today, but they weren't really peaceful and they were known as bloodthirsty barbarians. They didn't. They invented things like the longship and the comb and many other things that we use today, but these things had many consequences and outcomes. For example, the longships were actually just made so the Vikings could sail up the rivers and loot the monasteries. Half the things the Vikings created were used for destructive purposes and were made for violence. The Vikings discovered many new lands, but so did many others, and they didn't use violence to do it. The Vikings might have had a good influence on where we are today and discovered many new things, but they did so in a violent way that wasn't necessary. And overall, they weren't good, they were bad. The things that we have were written by Norsemen and monks. 
the latter of which left out important details of what actually happened during the Viking Age. The Norsemen may be remembered as bloodthirsty pirates. In fact, they will probably be remembered like this for decades. However, they were mostly on the good side. They treated everyone as equals and no one was above the law, including the leaders, which is something many countries are missing nowadays. In 1890, the remains of its discovery called the Gogstad ship, 12 horses, eight dogs, two goshawks, and two peacocks were found in the ship. This shows that the Norsemen were incredibly good at taming animals and shows just how far they traveled and traded. The reason that they expanded to places beyond is that the growing season was shrinking as the Norse population was growing. They needed food, tools, and farmland to sustain their civilization. They, as they were exploring to places like Greenland, Iceland, and Vinland, they were violence-free, and that was one way that they could get resources. Same with trading. As a Cambridge conference said, Vikings shared technology, swapped ideas, and often lived side by side in relative harmony with their Anglo-Saxon and Celtic contemporaries. Thank you. The Vikings were very bad people. The word Viking means pirate, and in our opinion, the Vikings were truly pirates. They were barbarians because they burnt down monasteries and killed helpless people. They were very fierce warriors and had no regard for sacred buildings. They were so barbaric they even took monks to be slaves for them. Some people might say that they are good because they made the longships and discovered, and discovered some good technology. But they were very brutal when it comes to fighting and known for looting to help them through their long winters in Greenland. Um, when you think of barbarians, what do you think of? Uh, like bloodthirsty. Yeah. Like bloodthirsty, like long bearded people who just go around kind of loot everything and kill people and yeah. Hello everyone. Today my team and I will be talking about how the Vikings were good rather than bad. A reason the Vikings were good is that they made amazing ships that were extremely useful. They also were not always bloodthirsty people that they were called nowadays, and they're also very caught up in the trade route. Um they they when they went raiding, they were only looking for land and food because all they had started to run out of food and uh other things so they could trade for um, their survival, and they didn't have much food, so that's why they raided. Um, thank you. The Vikings were seen in the eyes of the victims, who most likely exaggerated. The stories about the Vikings, wrote by the people that were attacked, allowed people to think they were bloodthirsty and crazy humans. Yet they were innocent and misunderstood inventors, explorers, and farmers who left a huge impact on Europe in trade and mercantilism. Even though like they traded and traveled all these cool places, um, they still raided and killed a lot of people. Also, they were killing churches. Like, what did churches do to them? Like, how did churches affect them in any way? They only raided for uh, monast churches and monasteries for trade because they wanted to survive, like any other tribe would. When the Vikings were done raiding monasteries and churches, they would sometimes burn them down, kill almost everybody, and whoever they didn't kill, they kept for slaves, for hard labor, or trade. Even They even threw babies into the air and caught them on their swords. They were pagans, so they didn't have anything stopping them from killing. They even killed people that didn't agree with their religion. Even, even though this all started with them just wanting more land and making more money, it doesn't mean it was, it was the right thing to do. They didn't have to kill, kill people or burn down buildings. They were, see, they were seen in the eyes of the victims who could very well exaggerate about lots of things like throwing babies in the air and catching them on swords could have been exaggerated a lot and also they used their inventions to get here so like they weren't just killing them for like no reason if they hadn't raided or burned down they wouldn't have like enough stuff to trade and if they didn't trade they wouldn't be alive and also much of the documents that the people the monks wrote in the monasteries after they were attacked if they weren't killed were mistranslated they also burned down the church and the, mon the churches and monasteries because they felt like they were threats to 
to them. They want. They thought they might have wanted revenge or vengeance. Well, they, uh, why weren't they able to be, like, self-made? Like, why couldn't, so, like, the monasteries, they built it by themselves. They did all these things. They got all these goods by themselves. Why, why weren't, like, the Vikings able to do that? Why weren't the Vikings able to, like, start from scratch? Why wouldn't, why couldn't they, like, if they were able to make all this cool technology, why couldn't they, like, learn how to farm? Can't you say they made made for bad things? Like I'm the like I'm the Vikings, all right. I I'm the creator of Apple or their long ship back then. I'm also like the creator of Nike and all their other improvements, all right. So and then I also found Canada, all right. That's like they found all these cool places. Now does this give me the opportunity to kill everybody who goes to church in Manchester? It, does that allow me to kill all of them, burn down the churches across America, actually? Does that allow me to do that just because I did these three things? I don't think that's very fair. Well, the only reason they went, like they found Canada and other places, but their climates were probably very harsh and they couldn't farm there. And if they hadn't raided places, which then they wouldn't have any like things to trade, like gold and jewelry and artifacts. If they hadn't trade hadn't traded, they would just be dead, and they wouldn't be able to survive. And most tribes back then would have to tr uh, raid places like monasteries or churches or settlements, so they could get food too to trade. It was just a way of surviving. But was it trade? Like you guys are saying, like a lot of trade, but it was mostly raiding. It was mostly they would kill a lot of people. Trading didn't come until later in the Vikings, and then. Also, they were like very cocky. How, like, would you come into this debate without having a sheet of paper and thinking you're gonna win the debate? Like, that's what they did, and that's how they like ended. Yeah. And would you ever do that? And they were like very greedy. They attacked more monasteries than that was actually necessary. Like you said, some of them of these tribes like kind of had to, but they they had like attacked a lot more monasteries than necessary. When they traded, they traded for things to survive. They didn't just uh, like they didn't just raid places because they wanted to. They raided them because they wanted to survive. And when they raided those places, they took those goods and they traded them for other goods so they could survive. They traded them for farmland, animals, food, drinks and other things to survive. How you said that it wasn't so much uh, trading as much as raiding? Mm -hmm. Well, you have to raid to get to get the goods to trade. They didn't have all the goods that they needed to trade for farmland and animals and food mm -hmm. for their growing population. And when you said that they couldn't just build their own houses, um, they had to raid different areas, countries, to get that land. They didn't have all the land they could use for their huge population on just in Scandinavia. Well, they could have done it different ways than just raiding, but yeah, they did it by raiding to trade. But also, you know how they held those war ceremonies when they had tons of food, tons of gold, and he would like give it out to everybody? Why did they need that extra stuff? Why didn't they trade that for their survival, not for like the pleasure, like, oh, I have a piece of gold. Why did they need that? They had those huge parties because they were, like, say someone raided a place, but then they got lots of gold and they traded it, and say they got enough food to f feed, like, their whole community. Uh, my idea is, like, they did that in a way of, like, celebrating that, hey, we're still alive another day. Hooray. But they didn't trade it. They used it as their own goods. They used it, like, to celebrate, like. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah they, but they, they didn't use like all these gold pots, like, and they would hand them out, and they would be like set them up inside, and they'd yeah. be like, "Oh my goodness, look, we got gold from this monastery that we but, didn't need to raid." Yeah, yeah. and I mean, and you said that they they trade the stuff to survive, but like he said, they're really just like some of the things that they loot. Um, they're just using for their own pleasure instead of. And to they wouldn't just trade things. Loot, to they wouldn't just loot the monasteries. They would kill. Like everyone and the monks because they were pagan and everyone else wasn't. Also, you guys might say like, oh, they weren't addicted to war, but like those berserkers, 
That's like their life. They love to get like all amped up for war and just go like bash and smash everybody the, and kill monsters and people and monsters, sorry. The berserkers were just like, they were always just like, ah, oh, we're gonna go kill everyone. They took a drug that made them do it. So like, they may have not always been like all amped up and everything. They, they could have been in, like a decent did, also person. Also, they didn't have to take the, the they they didn't also, it was their choice to but, go. They also didn't have to. They also didn't have to. They also didn't have to go um, kill the monks. And then they didn't also always kill them. They would put them through like such hard labor and like work. They would have to build the boats and like When you singled out the uh, the berserkers, well, they were they were addicted to the war. They were addicted to the drug that they were taking that was making them do that. It, well, they couldn't they control themselves after more. they had that well, drug. Maybe they it were was... forced to take the drug. We have no idea, really. But then why didn't everybody take the drug? Only because maybe people. they only wanted certain people to take the drug because not everybody was war crazy. As I said, most of them were explorers, farmers, and inventors. But then why they did didn't... you say they're all war crazy before? Like, why, do you, why are they all fighting? So, like, the farmers and everybody fought. So, like, they would take farmers, they would take the boat builders... They would take the navigators and they would all fight. Not all of the Vikings were like that. Most of them were just inventors and farmers. Just some of them were soldiers that were fighting to get more land they and goods. They didn't only like loot the monasteries and stuff and take the gold and use it, use it for their own leisure. They they like took the monks and made them work really hard and made them like be their slaves. They made the monks work very hard because if the monks got enough people together, they could, um, like, attack them, so... Why did the monks have to do that? And well, also, their way, also this of, great their way of not being attacked by more and more civilizations of, like, monks was to kill them. But and yes, they could have done it in other ways, but they had just not Vikings thought. may have been horrible people, but they left an everlasting impact on Europe. For example... Their shipbuilding was arts have been widely accepted. They also had very complex society. Then they, they even had one of the earliest governments. One last point I would like to make to bring up is that the Vikings raided to survive. If the Vikings did not raid cities, the, if if the Vikings did not raid cities, Viking people would overpopulate and diseases would start to spread throughout everyone. After the warriors finished raiding a civilization, the Viking people would start to move closer to that area, and, and that made the population balanced. And the Vikings raided to get food to feed their people and themselves. They also stole to trade for more food to sustain their people. Thank you. Many opinions have been thrown out there about the Vikings. Are they good or bad? They, are, in our opinion, are bad. They did some pretty horrible things, as, such as looting monasteries and then sometimes burning them to the ground taking monks to be slaves, and even throwing babies into the air and catching them on their swords. They were very unfair people. Although Vikings weren't actually bloodthirsty maniacs, they weren't good people. Now, they did do some great things, like build the longship, but that sometimes led to them going to monasteries, looting them, and making other people unhappy. But that still doesn't... Oh, oops. <laughs> but do keep in mind that they basically killed whoever was religious and didn't agree with them. The Vikings were bad, and that's all there is to it. They knew how to form. They could have resources to and it was too hard. They knew how to form. They could have resources and it was too hard. They could have resources and it was too hard. They could have resources and it was too hard. They could have resources and it was too hard. They could have resources and it was too hard. They could have resources and it was too hard. They could have resources and it was too hard. They could have resources and it was too hard. They could have resources and it was too hard. They could have resources and it was too hard. They could have resources and it was too hard. They could have resources and it was too hard. They could have resources and it was too hard. They could have resources and it was too hard. They could have resources and it was too hard. They could have resources and it was too hard. They could have resources and it was too hard. They could have resources and it was too hard